Hello, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. We have a new headset today. So I hope that you can hear me better now. And it's also, it's not raining like yesterday. Okay, there we go. But I have to put it here because it's really sensitive. If I put it like here, you can hear me breathing, right? So I don't like it to be like, I'm gonna put it right there. It's better there, right? You don't hear me breathing or do you hear no. me? No. That's good. Perfect. Because I don't like when people are like, <sighs> Something like that is, uh, I don't know, I don't like it. Okay, perfect. Let's go here with the attendance for today. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Present. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Present. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fatima Lourdes Gaitan Romero. Present. Oh, there you are. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. No está. Ok. Not here. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Madre Yamilet Molina González. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. She was the first one, actually. Do you hear the people talking in my background? Okay. No. Okay. But that's good. That's good. Okay. Do you know what is the funny thing that today that I got the new headset, the old headset started to work. It was a configuration problem, supposedly. I don't know. There's. I don't know. But I just, I just um, connected this one, and I couldn't hear my students. So I was like, I don't know, trying to figure out then how. I did it, I couldn't fix it. So I put the old um, headset and the microphone started working. And I was like, what? Did I just spend money? So I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. I don't care. I, I spend the money already. I have to use it. So yeah, anyways, it's working now. The good thing is with this one, I'm not listening to the surroundings. I'm very focused here with you so I can hear you not the surrounds. And with the other one, it was very difficult because as you can see, this is really small and it's, it's, it's really old, you see, so, but this is really small. So to hear you when it's raining, it was very difficult. Do you hear the horn outside of my house? Okay. So, so no. it was, I, it, you know what is a horn, right? A honk, like when people honk, what is a honk, Fatima? I think by the signal that you did, that is when you are in the car. Okay, okay. You you got it by the sign that I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, you see, that's another way of communicating. Yes, it is honking. Like when you're driving and you honk, that is a honk. Exactly. Uh, if you didn't know, now you know. What is, it's a honk. The verb of doing it is a honk, but the thing is called a horn, okay, like that. So you honk with horn. Okay, perfect. 
Now, thank you for your punctuality and thank you for being here. I know there are some students that are not here yet. Um, one of the, some of them had sent messages about why they can't be here on time, but I appreciate your punctuality. Now, we're gonna start, but yesterday I realized that the tongue twister that you know know the least is the how much wood would a woodchuck chuck one because maybe you didn't have en enough time to practice right so we're gonna go with that one even though i sent you the song have you had the time to listen to the song i mean maybe it's not your type of music but right it's like, good. what is it it's good the you song. like it yeah it's i know the artist too Aaron Chupa. yeah me too me too I, I i think there was a very famous song of him i don't recall the name oh yeah it was something like with italian it was something italian related <sighs> papa americano mm -hmm. remember that one yeah. It was very, very popular back in 2010, I will say something like that. So, yeah, but the thing is, uh, it's not there just to listen music, it's there because we want to learn the pronunciation of the woodchuck, right? And that pronunciation is going to, it's also going to help you with the wood song, because wood is like the trees, what trees are like, what you get from trees, that's wood but also wood as I, I would like to go. So those pronunciations, it's gonna help you with. But yesterday I realized that there was a lot of trouble with, with it. Okay. Okay, here. It's how much, not much, much wood. And then here, like in Spanish guys, it's the same thing like in Spanish you have to join sometimes the pronunciations so in this case we can join this too instead of saying would a ah, you can say how much would would a you know you're joining the pronunciation because it sounds a little bit more natural when speaking would chuck chuck and then you join these two again if a okay instead of saying if a if a okay no it, it is not if a if okay would chuck could chuck would and in this ones right here when you say this you don't say the letter l and when you say this one you don't say the letter l either it's could not could could incorrect could okay like that could now for example when you say i walk in the park you don't say i walk in the park right? You say, I walk, just like that. You don't say the letter L. Okay, let's go with pronunciation then. How much would, would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? In this case, it should be joined. I don't know why it is not joined. This is just one word, like this one, the same. Okay, um, again, how, wait, 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 wait. How much would, would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Sometimes I feel like, well, now I feel like company, but sometimes I feel like I'm speaking to myself <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> Okay, now, like, and even with this headset, it's really weird. I don't know, but uh, I cannot hear my voice very clear because this is like noise canceling. So it's weird. It, like I have to do something like this to hear my voice <laughs> because it's canceling the surroundings. But anyways, I think I'm doing it right. Okay. How much would, would a, would chuck, chuck, would chuck, chuck. This is confusing maybe sometimes. Would chuck chuck, would chuck chuck. If a would chuck, could chuck, could chuck, would. So going a little bit faster, you will be how much would, would a would chuck chuck. If a would chuck, could chuck, would. 
how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And then you go a little bit faster. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Maybe you don't have to believe me, but do it, guys. When you practice this pronunciation and, and you do the pronunciation exercises, you're going to see improvement in your pronunciation. Even for me, I'm not a native speaker, English native speaker. I'm Spanish speaker, and then I migrate to the English language. So sometimes I have many mistakes, and it's okay because that's not my first language. But as much as I practice, the second language is going to get better. So that's why I like to teach advanced courses. Because when I only teach basic ones, I don't, I don't feel like my, my speaking abilities are developing, improving, or they are keeping where they are. So you need to practice a lot. So sometimes I'm speaking and speaking and speaking and I'm doing the tongue twisters, but I need you to do them, like really do them. Because that way you're gonna improve your pronunciation. And my goal here is that you have a better pronunciation than the one I have. That's my goal. Because I'm a teacher, my job is to teach you. But you're a student and you're gonna, I don't know, you're gonna get to work in different areas. So maybe you're gonna get the chance to speak with native speakers. And that way you're gonna be improving your speaking abilities, your pronunciation abilities, communication abilities, understanding, comprehension, and everything. So I need you to really practice this so you improve your pronunciation. What I want is that tomorrow you come and you say, hey teacher, you know what? Your pronunciation is wrong because the correct pronunciation of this word is this one. And that will be awesome to me because I want you to be better than I am. For example, there are some teachers that get mad when stu students correct them, but I I'm not one of those. One of my students told me when I was starting this was back in 2015, maybe. One of my students told me, teacher, you say, um, what was the word? Castle. And the correct pronunciation is castle. I was like, I didn't know that. I look it up and of course it was castle. You know what is a castle? Yes. What is it, Manuel? And, uh, if, for example, a princess live on a castle. Exactly. exactly. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's a castle. That's yeah. castle. Yeah. Now, I used to say castle, castle. At the beginning, castle, then castle. Yeah. And it's castle, just like that. You don't say the letter T. For example, with mountain, mountain. You don't say mountain or mountain, it's mountain, mountain, like with so many words. But you know, I'm open to suggestions and I want you to be better than me. If you want that, some of you are already there. You have a really, really good English level, but let's practice this, okay? Just to make it a little bit better and your mouth and the muscles in your mouth and your vocal cords get used to this language. Okay, so we're gonna practice this because yesterday there was a few problems on this one. And uh, then we're gonna come back here. Okay. Just take, a, take some minutes. Sometimes when I go to the breakout rooms, it's a silence. If I drop something in my side here, you could hear it there. Because it's so quiet. And the cameras, oh my goodness. How you like to have the cameras off. You love to have the cameras off. And I like to see your faces because sometimes I'm speaking and I'm like, are they listening? And when I see your expressions, I'm like, oh, okay, they are listening. But if you, I don't see your expressions, I'm lost. I'm like, I don't know, am I talking to myself? Am I that kind, kind of crazy person? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. David needs to be in the same breakout room. Okay, there we go.
Hello guys, I'm sorry. So your classmates are practicing in the breakout rooms. I'm gonna send you to one of the breakout rooms, okay? Okay, good evening. Good evening. We have a question uh, uh, here. How much good would a good chuck chuck is a good chuck good chuck good? We okay. put this in the in the in the in the pronunciation of the, of the Google. Uh -huh. And 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 they said says cool. No, no, it's a cool, cool, only cool for this. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Good chuck, good. Chuck, I don't know if if uh, maybe uh, maybe you should look for the pronunciation individually, like the just the word could. Yes, yes, I, I put the other word too, and and just the word is okay. I I put the only could. Sorry. Uh, only the word could, and 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 in in this case, yes. Could. Exactly. Just could. Yes, good. Uh, if you listen to the song, how does it say it? Uh, yeah, in the song it's okay. Uh, well, we listen another song. In the song, it's okay. But I I don't have the. I was looking for the for the original. For the original uh, link, but I didn't find it. I I 
I look oh, for another one. Oh, you can look on YouTube with this yes. not name. Look, Aaron Chupa. Aaron, Aaron what? Aaron what is? Chupa. Aaron Chupa. Yeah. Okay. And okay. Lil Seals Nora, I think is the name of her. I don't know. <laughs> Lil Seals Nora. Okay. Okay. We listen to some, but, but it's interesting, but. Yeah. Sometimes there are some bugs in the pronunciation of Google, because even when you translate some words or complete um, statements, it will translate differently. So don't yes. trust, don't trust Google all, all the time. Yes. Yes. Okay. But, uh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Yes. You're welcome.
Hello. So, Hello. Uh, I heard you practicing a little bit more this time, which I liked. I just want to mention something. Do you know what happens to your brain when you learn a second language? Nope. You think nothing happens? No, teacher. Okay. So, yes, you... so a ring is it, it become bigger? It, it, not bigger, but uh, better. <laughs> better. It's better. <laughs> yes, yeah. better. Yeah. Exactly. So, actually, we have, I don't know if you have heard that the human being doesn't use the 100% capacity of the brain, right? We only use like, I don't know, 6% or something. I don't know what is the percentage, but we use very little of it. The genius ones, they use a little bit more, but not 100. Nobody uses 100% uses of their brain, brains. But here's the thing. When you start learning a second language, by a year, after a year learning a second language, you start seeing changes in your mind. So people who are bilingual, they are better understanding different situations because they can see two points of views. But here's the, 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 the other thing. It depends on what stage of your life you started learning English. Because if you start when you're very little, your problem solving skills are very good because you can think of two options all the time. That's why they say, some people say, no, don't, don't make the kids learn a second language, first one and then the other one. But no, the correct thing is to learn both languages at the same time. Because when you learn both languages in a, at the same time, you're gonna learn that something it's called in two different ways, but it's the same thing. And your mind will process that as it is. Now, when you learn a second language later in life, you learn the second language through your first, your first language. What you do is you think of the word in Spanish, then you translate it. That's how it works when we learn one first and the second one later. So, but even though if you learned a second language later in time, it will still be good for you. For example, in my case, I started when I was 18 years old. So, and I was not good. I will say that 20, 21 years old, I was not good at English, not good at all. I used to say, <laughs> I used to say when I was in second year of college, I used to say, I live in El Salvador. I still remember that because I used to say I live second year second year learning English. And I used to have a lot of troubles, a lot of problems. So if you hear me now, and you maybe heard me back then, you would be like, ah, that's not the same person, not at all. Because I improve, I improve by practicing. It is, well, so many of my teachers used to say that I was not gonna make it, that I was not good. Actually, one of my teachers called me once, you're a mess. He came to my desk and he said, you're a mess. And I look at him, but the good thing was I didn't know what a mess meant. So <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you're saying, but whatever. <laughs> then my classmate, she was really good. She's still really good. She told me, he said uh, that you are a disaster. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, it's true. I was like that. But then um, I proved him wrong. And he was actually my first boss. He hired me because he knew my capacities have changed through time. What I'm telling you with this is you're not gonna be perfect at the beginning. And maybe sometimes you're like, oh, but my classmates are better than me and they have different skills. The pronunciation is better. They understand grammar in a different way. And it's really complicated to me. But I was not a, I was not a star student. I was, I don't know, mediocre, 
like mediocre. I was like average, average. That's what I will say. I was average, like eh, whatever. But with time and practice, I improved. Actually, I started, well, I'm just going to say, I started improving by the fourth year of my career because it got, I got the chance to go to the United States. And then everybody said, Diana, Diana is not going. She's not good at English. And I was like, but I want to go. Then I have motivation. And then I started doing good, really good. Actually, in my college, they thought I was going to be a mess and I was going to be a bad representation of my college. They say that. They said that to me, actually. So, yeah, I got many comments like those ones. But those comments were the ones that made me progress in my life, you know. So then I got the chance to improve. I got the chance to go to the United States. And there I got the chance to talk a lot and listen a lot. Like the ones that are working at a call center right now, you have the chance to listen to native speakers. So with that, you're gonna unconsciously, you're getting a second language. Even though you understand or you don't, you're getting it. So don't stop practicing. And I'm telling you this because we're a week ahead of finishing this module. And I don't want you to lose motivation, okay? I don't want you to be like, no, I don't want to do it anymore because I think it's a waste of time or whatever. It's there and you're going to get better. It doesn't matter how bad you're at English. Just remember your teacher in the second year of her career used to say, I live in El Salvador. So me, oh, that was me in my second year. I don't know how many years you have been learning English, but me, second year, and I was a mess, like my teacher said. But you, th you see, everything changes. So I don't want you to lose motivation. I don't want you to be like, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to stop like going to classes. You're very close to the end, very close to the end. So don't lose motivation. Stay focused because you're going to make it. OK, that's what I wanted to tell you. Now, to give you a little bit of extra motivation, I don't know if you know this person. Her name is Anai. Anaya Taylor Joy. Do you know who she is? Yes. Yes, you know her? Yes, I saw the, the Netflix series. The Queen's Gambit? Yes. Yeah. Or what was the name in Spanish? The Gambito de Dama. Exactly. Okay, so the Queen's Gambit. She was very famous for that one, and she also stars in different movies. One of the movies is The Witch. It's really good. I have seen. Okay, okay. So those, this person, she speaks perfect English. I don't know. Yes. Did you watch it in, in English, Fernando? Yes, uh, in English, and I I saw many interviews that she was speaking on English and Spanish, and she uh, she speaks a uh, very good. The, the, uh, the languages. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fernando. That's what I wanted to tell you. So we have an example as, uh, what is her name? Sofia Vergara. We have Sofia ah. Vergara's example. She, you will say, oh, she has a really strong, strong accent and all the stuff, but she's making it in the United States. She's making it in Hollywood. She's making a lot of money. And she can understand perfectly, okay? What you need to understand is that there are different accents and there are different kinds of people. So Sofia Vergara, when she speaks English, she, she speaks English like she's speaking Spanish and she speaks like this and she's, it, she's very, very Latin. But that's okay. That's what's making her money, right? But Anita Joy, and I, 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 I need it, I need a joy, I need a joy, something like that it is. Um, she's Anna fluent. Taylor Joy. What is it? And, uh, Anna Taylor Joy. Yeah, it's Taylor Joy, correct. She is really good at both languages, really good. And she also has an accent in both languages. Her accent in English is like a British, and in Spanish, she sounds like um, Argentine, Argentina. She, so, she sounds very like that. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna play a video for you so you can listen to this person. Or you can, well, I'm not gonna show you this one, it's 20 minutes, but 
listen. It, this one, super holy, she's analyzing her English and her Spanish and it's, it's so good. But let's listen to this one. I'm hoping that it won't, it won't ban my video because it's just a, I don't know. It's not, wait, compare this one. Okay, it's not a lot, listen. Escuchen. Now that you're here. Can you, can you listen? Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Now that you're hearing my accent, you may be surprised to know I was born in Miami, raised between, oh, nice, raised between Argentina and London, and my first language is Spanish, so legally, my ethnicity is Fashion Week. Before we begin, it would mean the world to me to start the show in my native language, so you guys don't mind, do you? Is that okay? In which case, tenemos un show increíble para ustedes esta noche, Lil Nas X está acá, así que por favor, no se vayan a both languages and she speaks them very very good so what i'm telling you is well she was born in between both languages but you can improve and you can be as better as anita taylor joy or you can be as good as sofia vergara which sofia vergara accent it's just her accent but she communicates the ideas and everybody understands so eh. okay so Try to focus, try to pay attention. You're gonna make it. I'm sure you're gonna make it, okay? Because I was 20 years old and I couldn't speak English really good. And nobody believed in me and here I am, okay? Now, I have an activity for you. We're gonna do, actually I had this activity yesterday, but we didn't have the time. So we have been talking about different genera. That's just the topic we have in the manual, you guys. Uh, we have been talking about the millennials. I think it's written like that. We have been talking about the gen. I think gen Y, right? And we have been talking about the gen X. Gen X, are we millennials gen X? I don't remember. Y, Z. Oh yeah, we are. Gen Y is the millennial. Exactly. We're talking about Gen Z, we're talking about millennials, we're talking about Gen X. Gen X, yes. And we have been talking about baby boomers as well, right? Yes, baby boomers. Like that, exactly. So what I want you to do now that we know a little bit more about these four generations right here, and they are all in the workforce nowadays, they are there. I want you to talk about how they are at technology. Okay, that's the first thing. I want you to talk about how they are related to experience. Don't sleep, oh, come on. Just one hour, just one hour. Okay, well, I want you to talk about how they are at the workplace. And the last thing I want you to talk about is what they have in common, okay? So we're gonna talk about four things. How are baby boomers at technology experience and how they are at the workplace? Gen X, how they are in the three areas as well. Millennials and the Gen Z, from your experience, what you know about them. And finally, maybe it's difficult, but I think we can agree and we can find something that is there. We are gonna find what they have in common. One thing, at least one thing they have in common. Don't tell me they are alive or they breathe. That's, that's not something. <laughs> Let's find something work related that they have in common. Is the activity clear for you? Can you copy that in the chat Zoom, teacher? Mm, yes, of course I can. Uh, let me see. And also we're gonna be looking at these generations, obviously the ones that are still in the workforce. 
Oh, but before we go, because it's like time already, I'm gonna go through attendance because I don't want you to. Go, I don't want to call you in the middle of the activity. Okay, uh, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo, Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores, present. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa, present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez, present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fátima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madre Yamilet Molina González. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Delma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, perfect. Do you understand the activity? Is it clear to you guys? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me see. Okay, because I have to be careful. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Let's go.
Hello, teacher. You were in a breakout room? Harbin? Yes, I was. And Only what, which one? In the number three, I think with Alma, Francisco. Okay, okay, got it. There you go. Okay, thank you.
They see the physical and digital world as a seamless continuum of experience that blend offline and online information. Because, yeah. because they AKFL because they uh, was born or were born. Sorry, were born. They were born in the age of 27, 24, 7 technology. Because they were born, because they were, were born in the age of 20. For seven technology, they see the digital, the physical and digital world as a seamless continuum of experiences that blend online and offline information. Information, yeah. Okay, uh, Fatima says something about uh, Generation Y. No, I I wrote about baby boomers at the work yes yes baby boomer yes is a good a good observation about experience the the most experience because he said yeah uh where you are a, a old woman in in i don't have a problem in, in for my age because i I always try to learn uh, new technologies and, and new uh, new forms the work. I have to. Uh, I like uh, no, new novels. Yeah, is if for me is import uh, new knowledge in my workplace. It, it is really good to know. Do you have a lot of experience on the area of work where you are? Excellent. Uh, no, no, let no, let no, me no, search no. The, the, the phrase. <laughs> Uno es de uh, ellos, my dad. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Eh, básicamente nosotros vemos casi gramática que no nos metemos en, uh, okay. en cosas así como, como yeah. la dirección, eh, uh, como trambote, no sé qué, say Alberto y dice. Oh, Alberti. So you are talking about that that baby boomers are more active about yeah about mm -hmm. learning. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. yes. Yes, because they never give up. One example is Telmita. Yeah. She's already learned two English, two two languages. Mm -hmm. My routine. Daily routine is uh, is a uh, very hard because uh, in my workplace is uh, it's not activity uh, from eight fifty a.m. to six p.m. But and then in my home I.
I I think uh, I know no try in in work in call center is that uh, because in my case yeah I have a my my behavior is a uh, 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 only word or in office uh, mm -hmm. with a, with papers with a computer but no with other person uh, uh, no like a call center is just only my uh, I talk with my customer I play the things but not like a call center um, you receive the first the the you receive the the, the customers in what other generations can teach them yeah about the experience mm -hmm. experience okay and now what they have in common what they have in common yep i don't know <laughs> <laughs> they all they all like uh, i don't know uh All of them yeah, were keep... born without ask for. <laughs> I know. So, Maybe so, all of them like the leadership. Yes, you are right. The all of them, all of them. Value the leadership. leadership. Mm -hmm. Or they want be a leader. <laughs> Maybe all of them want to be a leader. Or could also be like they have learned how to use technology. Yeah, that's yes. true. They value the leadership.
How how wow, old are you? Impressive. Yes. You have created all of this right now. I think. Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh. Okay. David, you are a baby boomer or Gen X? Baby boomer. Wow, and look what technology, right? Eh, so so. <laughs> ah, you good. I am a teacher. Technology. I need to. Yeah, you need to do these things. I know. I know. Yes. <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let me read it. Okay, put it from that's that's the beginning. Okay. That's the beginning. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. They value the leadership, okay? <coughs> Okay, okay, very good. Okay. Go, go up, go up a little bit more there. Go down, scroll down. Okay. Very good, impressive. Good job, guys. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, you have talked about the topics. Everybody in the breaker room talked about the topics or some of you? Um, like I haven't practiced with Doris about the topic. Okay. So you have been talking to Doris about the topic. Correct. And what did you find in common between all the generations? So what I can say, what my opinion is that um, every generation is totally different, but about belief, um, about the, um, about the, um, sometimes the, um, it is the same about the knowledge, about how can deal with a technology or how can deal with any device and about the, the characteristic I guess sometimes is a little similar. For example, um, Generation X or Millennium People or um, Baby Boomers. Uh, sometimes the um, the Hobbits. I guess they can share in the same Hobbits. Uh, people who never give up always try to uh, to be focused. Uh, just to achieve uh, their goals, mm -hmm. and also um, uh, about the, the the experience that every um, generation have. I guess uh, is totally different. Okay, okay. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave in a little bit to the main session. Okay. And I think it's the best restaurant, so you have to go. We had to go, yes. Yeah, for my birthday. <laughs> for yes, <Chris> <laughs> When's your birthday? Week? It's um, next week. 14, June 14. It's the next week. Are you going to connect to the class that day? 
That's the last day. Actually, that's the last day. I don't know, teacher, because my, my sister uh, invited me uh, a dinner because she worked till six and a half p.m. I don't know if I can if I can connect, but I have to do the survey. Survey, so. yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is the survey? Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I'm going to connect on the on the restaurant. Okay, <laughs> just to do the sur I mean, survey. Yeah, I'm I'm here, teacher, but so let's. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay I, I get it i get it how uh, can you tell us how old you're gonna turn or you don't want to tell yeah i'm going to celebrate my 31 years your 31st birthday 30, 31 years oh wow amazing you're young yeah. i don't feel <laughs> young anymore <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the attitude it's the attitude yeah. Okay. My turn, my birthday is coming too on June the 29th. Oh, so you are from June as well. 29. June 29, yes. I will not connect to the class that day. I don't know. We're going to mm. start maybe the, the, next the 20th, moment. I guess. Maybe mm. we're going to be starting. <laughs> we're going to be in the second week, maybe. Probably. Um. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> well, okay, just yes. let me know. Send me a message because sometimes I'm like, why they didn't connect? Like with yeah. Stanley, Stanley, Marlon Stanley. I don't know. He's not connecting anymore and I don't know why. Um, he's working, he works at Sykes and the company that I work. I don't know why uh, he he didn't connect back. He's a study also at the university. He works and study at the university and also study here. I guess that he's he has a lot of work to do. He was it's in easy. his final, in, yes, in his final exams to move. Oh. But I don't know why he come to the class teacher because he works in an English account. He practices every single day. Okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, but so, just, yeah. just let me know sometimes because sometimes I wonder like what is happening. Yes, probably that will be the issue why he couldn't connect. Okay, okay, it's okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you.
Fernando, you told me you have the race racer, right? Racers. Yes, I I saw your bought the GPL. Yeah, they are GPL. Uh, fifty four boxes. What is it? Fifty fifty four dollars. No, it what? was sixty nine. Ah, six and I but yeah, so you 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 bought the that Air Force in Radio Shack. Yeah. Yeah, yes, because in test shop is is isn't in a offer. They have an offer with that with this. Oh. This Air Force. oh okay, okay. No, but there's not text store here in Osulutan and I wanted them quickly because if it was raining today yeah. I would have problems, but now it turns out that my headset was good and but I, yeah. I'm, I'm using the money i'm using the money i'm not going to spend <laughs> the money just for nothing they, they are gbl quantum 300 yes. something like that gbl is a good brand yeah they are i, I have had many many of the uh, he, he, many headphones but not headsets this is my first headset they that. have collaboration with uh, many many cell phone smartphone brands yeah. like samsung or yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, that's why I decided to buy these ones. But anyways, here we are. <laughs> the things that happen in every life. Okay, in everyday life. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, I want to comment something. When I go to the breakout rooms, it seems like we were in different classes. I don't know. But some students are working in a different way, and some other students are working in a very different way. It's like we're, I'm telling you, in very different classes. What I wanna tell with this is, when I send you to the breakout rooms, it's your time to participate, it's your time to speak, it's your time to practice. If you finished what you're doing, then start reading it or practicing and about other things. I went to many breakout rooms and some, at the end, like when they had finished everything, they were talking about birthdays. I don't know, that, that's random, it's different, but they were talking. That's what I care about, that you're practicing. That's what I care the most about. Now, then to other breakout rooms that I went, well, specifically one, there was a group uh, doing a whole document a word document about the, the, the topic that we were discussing. And I see the effort, you see? I see the effort because you're paying attention and that means that you wanna learn, that you really want to learn. And that's the most important thing here. Even though, I don't know, we can do so many things. We can just go and talk. We can just go and turn off the camera, turn off the mic and just like that. But that's not the main reason that I send you to the breakout rooms okay so the main reason is that i want you to practice that i want you to speak that i want you to share because when we are here you're what 14 students now and you're there and and it's really hard for me to let you every single one of you speak so that's why in little groups with a few students i send you to practice and I want you to practice. That's the main reason. Okay, so here's the thing. So far, we have only one topic left in the manual, and we have still a week to cover. I can go through many topics as I want, or re reinforcements, reviews, whatever you want. But what I really care the most is what topics do you consider that I should cover? That you have problems with those topics? That you want me to, I don't know, do a review? And this is personal. Maybe some of you want reinforcements in one topic that is very different, or maybe it's a basic topic and you think like, nah, I'm not gonna do it because it's really basic and my classmates are gonna be like, don't you know that? That's too easy. I don't know, it's just like that. You want to say something, Fernando? Well, in my case, I have a lot of problem with the the past. Okay. Uh, with regular birds. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Regular. 
verbs. Yeah, that's one of the main problems. Uh, it, I, it used to be my problem as well. Sometimes it, it still is. So, okay, I should cover that one. Do you have any other guys? If you are afraid or you're shy or you don't wanna tell me through the microphone, you can send it to the chat here on Zoom and you can send it only privately to Inglés Corporativo and I will be the only one looking at it. But I'm guessing everybody has at least one topic they wanna cover. And well, I have one, regular verbs in the past. And mm. I, I don't know if to, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was, I was going to say uh, report in a speech. What is it? Report in, no, it was, yeah, report in a speech. Report, report in a speech. Report in a speech? In report a speech. Report in a speech. Can you can you write it in the chat and I can see it? Okay. Maybe she means part of speech. Maybe or maybe not. Oh, reported a speech. Okay. Okay. I have two topics now. Regular verbs, reported a speech. Now, you don't have problems with the passive voice? No? Nobody here? Mm, maybe a refresh. Uh, it's it's going to be good with us. For us. <laughs> okay, thank you. Because uh, maybe you, you, you can uh, show us how to avoid the, how do you say muletia in English? Because, for example, when I, for in, in my case, when I, I talk it something, uh, sometimes I I use a lot of the, the word that, for example, that. that. How <laughs> because to avoid I, that? Because without that, I I don't I don't feel that the the, the sentence is is correct. So, yeah, I understand that. For example, now that you said, I don't feel that the sentence is correct. That yeah. <laughs> I used two, two times the, 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 the word. So. <laughs> yeah, you said, I don't feel that the sentence will be correct. And you could have said, I don't feel the sentence will be correct. It, that, that is unnecessary. Yes, that's yes. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Thank you. Because in Spanish, we use a lot of que, por qué, que, por qué. And we wanted to use it in English as well. So we, our mind is translating exactly. And when you don't say that, you're like, oh, how do I say this? But sometimes you, we don't need it. You see, we don't need it. Okay, so we're, we're gonna see that. Okay, regular verbs, pass, reported speech, passive voice, how to avoid that or those kind of words. Nothing else? If I can go with that, I, 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 have, a, I have enough, I think. If there's nothing else, if you come out with an I come up with an idea, and you're like, hey, I have this idea. I don't remember how to say this, or maybe I have, I want a reinforcement or I want a review of this topic. You can let me know. But now, next class, yeah, next class I'm gonna go with the past, regular past, or the past in general. And by Friday, I'm gonna assign an activity due on Monday. So you have time to practice. At least I believe that you have time to practice. Not if you will do it at the very last minute. I don't think you're like that, right? You're not like that. Okay, I'm gonna assign an activity for, okay, it's gonna be assigned on Friday and it's gonna be due on Monday. Or last class, I have to remind you about this. Or last class, it's gonna be one hour class. Because they told me you had one class yes. one hour. Yes, yes, we have one hour class, yes. In the first class, the first class was an hour class, yes. Okay, so the last class is gonna be an hour class as well. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have that. Yeah, that, that, that will be on Monday. That will be on Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. It's gonna be from eight 
to nine. Eight from nine, yes. From eight it's to good. nine. Yes. And that that's in that day, I have to remind you that we are gonna do the survey. Yes. Because uh the, by the last uh by the last day we need to do the survey. So if there's any complications for you, I don't know, there, there's something that you have to do, for example, birthdays or something like that. <laughs> I'm going to tell that. <laughs> okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is just connect for a while. Just connect and we're gonna do the survey and then you're good to go. Because that's the thing we need to do. And they are gonna ask me if you did it. Actually, you have to send the screenshots to the chat and they are gonna see on time if you're sending the screenshots. If you see in the group, there's there's more people in there. It is not only you or me, it's more people. Inglés Corporativo, there are like four or five people from, from Inglés Corporativo. I don't know if you have seen that. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna go with the last attendance and we're gonna start reinforcement for, since tomorrow. If you come up with another topic, just let me know, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Yeah, I'm da here. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Doris Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fatima Lourdes Gaitán Romero. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Um, Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Manuel de Jesús Sánchez Hernández. Present. Marlon Stanley Ramírez Reyes. Uh, Telma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Telma? Present. Ah, oh, okay, now I hear you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. Yeah. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, guys, that will be it for today, and I will see you on like tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yes, tomorrow. I'm, I'm crazy. I, th I thought it was Friday. I don't know. My mind is Friday. <laughs> okay, guys, have a good okay. night. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night.